Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're at uh, Tappers in Indianapolis today, reviewing the Wizard of Oz by Jersey Jack Pinball. Great looking grant game, 75, 75th anniversary edition to boot. Uh, with that being said, please look for a review underneath the description of our YouTube videos, as well as like and follow us on our social media formats, arcade and pinball talk, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that red YouTube subscribe button. Uh, if you like arcade, if you like pinball and all of its formats, you want to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Be a part of our family. Click it now. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, when people talk about the Wizard of Oz, this thing is beautiful. I have a little something growing for you. Almost as beautiful as Willy Wonka. Some would fight me over that. Game is playing really good so far. Artwork is beautiful on this thing. Theme is good. It's Wizard of Oz. I mean, can't really go wrong with that. It's a, it's a timeless classic built into a pinball machine. Video bites are wonderful on this thing. So far, the sound bites are really good too. Lots of shots on this game. So you got to follow the yellow brick road to the inside of the table. Scarecrow, of course, line to a tin man. You light up everything to the middle. That's how you know where to shoot. to the witch. She splurges on uniforms. In the middle of the table, you have a kick out right there that takes you to second play field which is up above which is with another flipper so there's actually four flippers actually there's five flippers on this game secondary play built up by the house very tight in the middle so the shot layout on this the flow is a little off on this lots of pop bumpers to kind of keep you into the front of the table you need higher speed to get up into those ramps and as you saw that ramp comes up locks so that's ball one lock under by the house, and then it releases on a wire front form to your left end uh, end lane there. So yeah, I mean this is a moderate to low high difficulty here, and the reason for that is because the lanes are really tight through the middle. Uh, also, the ball speed is pretty high as well. Uh, beyond the fact that you know. The ramps are really hard to get your ball up there. There's ball lock two. So again, this is not a beginner game by any means. I mean, for you to get to your modes on this game, you gotta be really good at what you can do. So there's ball lock number three. She's getting the shots down. Loving the little hologram to the right in green. The Wizard of Oz highlighted. This looks great. Got some targets that say uh, ball to the left. Got a little spinner with some bumpers, which are uh, trees and so forth to the left as well. Got a little underlane that goes up and around to your columns to your back right. And then drops down. Flipper gap's not too bad on this for table mechanics. You got some pop bumpers back to the back there too. And then that lane just drops it out onto your right flipper. So again, a little bit higher ball out on this game uh, just due to everything. I mean, there's a lot of shots in this game, but it is stacked really to the middle of the table, which also makes it a little bit harder uh, to get your ball to where you need it to be. Really, the goal here is to get it to the kick out to get to that upper left, top left play field. Hit your modes, and then get it to that right play field to get around that house and make it spin. So that's what you want to do to activate, hit some targets under rainbow, 
and then activate your mode. You do have a magnet that's over there by the witch. So if you hit under there, it activates her. She kicks the ball. There you go, right there. Let's see if I can hit the ball back over there again. There you go. Let's see if she, if she didn't activate that time. There you go. Saw the ball spin right there. So. Second around to get the tornado house going. Beautiful game though, man. Toto is obviously in your exit lane to the right. There's little buttons there, so when the ball's rolling over those buttons, it's spelling out Toto. Oh god, of course. Well, worth a shot. Anyway, beautiful game. I mean the artwork on this thing is great. The play field is magnificent. The shots are there. Uh, the layout could be improved just a little bit for my taste. I don't know if everyone will agree with me on that, seeing this is a timeless classic game by Jersey Jack, but the, the layout could have been a little better to increase the flow, but I will say it has a ton of shots. Beautiful in that manner. Uh, the LEDs, the inserts are, are absolutely stunning. So gameplay is there. Fun factors there. Uh, as far as uh, replayability, I would say it's there too. So as I'm talking, I'm actually putting in a high score. Uh, but anyway, with that said, beautiful game. Definitely check it out. Our review will be under our YouTube video. Uh, and under our YouTube video, that's where you'll find our description. Uh, but beyond that, please subscribe. Thank you again for your time today.